When a woman discovered she was pregnant, she knew she couldn't provide for her child and decided to opt for adoption. On the day she gave birth to her daughter, the adoptive family was also present in the hospital, but they disappeared after seeing the baby. Life is a beautiful and precious gift that should never be taken for granted. Every child needs a parent and deserves to grow up in a loving, caring, and supporting environment. Sadly, many kids spend a large part of their lives devoid of love and family. Often, families who might not have had the resources to raise their kids consider adoption, hoping that their little ones will have a happy and normal life. But sometimes, parents might endure challenging circumstances, leaving them disillusioned and heartbroken. The story we're sharing today revolves around the power of miracles and a mother's never-ending love for her child. In 2015, Christina Fisher found out she was pregnant with a baby girl. However, the then 36-year-old woman had an odd reaction to the news. Instead of celebrating, the woman from Fort Walton Beach, Florida became worried about the life growing inside her. Already a mother to a young daughter, she knew she wasn't in the position to raise another child. Christina's circumstances were far from ordinary. She lived at a playground RV and was on the brink of homelessness toward the end of her pregnancy when the park closed. Moreover, the woman had no job and the baby's father was not in the picture. The Fort Walton Beach resident was opposed to abortion. Her then 18-year-old daughter, Deborah, finished high school in Louisiana where her family lived. She decided to place her unborn girl for adoption with a heavy heart. She hoped that her little princess would grow up in a loving home and have a better chance at life. Through an adoptive agency, Christina was matched with a family in Georgia. She talked to them weekly and shared her ultrasound photos. According to Christina, all her prenatal tests were normal and the doctors detected nothing except for the baby's ears, which looked a little small. On January 6, 2016, she was admitted into Sacred Heart Hospital for preeclampsia. The soon-to-be mom contacted the adoptive family, who arrived the next day and stayed until Abigail Lynn Fisher was born on January 11, 2016. Christina recalled, I let her, adoptive mom, take the other wristband into the NICU. The mother of two had prepared herself to wave goodbye to her little one and envisioned her beautiful future in her adoptive home. But what she didn't know then was how quickly things would go against her wishes. Christina remembered. She, adoptive mom, came out crying, looked at Deborah, and left the hospital. We'd never heard from them again. The heartbroken woman explained that her older daughter walked into the recovery room crying and related the whole incident. The adoption agency was reportedly appalled by the news and the Georgia family was flagged in the agency's system. She and the doctors noticed that little Abigail looked different from other babies in the hospital. Christina then learned that her daughter was born with Treacher Collins, a very rare genetic condition that affects the bones and tissue of the face, causing malformation. The condition could also result in respiratory and eye problems. However, when she saw her baby girl for the first time, she didn't see her asymmetrical facial features. Instead, Christina said she saw a little angel and a princess. Seeing the tragic turn of events as a sign, she decided to raise Abigail on her own. The doting mother shared her sentiments in these words. I took it as a sign that she was supposed to be mine, and now she is my heart. Without her, I would cease to exist. Christina explained that there were two ways a baby could have Treacher Collins, if both parents carry the gene or if one of the parents had the syndrome. In Abigail's case, her dad had Treacher Collins. Abigail's big brown eyes slanted downward and her ears were small. The doctors suggested she might need cochlear implants someday. But despite her diagnosis, she could have a normal childhood because the condition didn't impact the brain. Christina described, There's doctors with Treacher Collins, even a male model. She may need reconstructive surgery, but she'll be able to lead a perfectly normal life. The little girl also had a cleft palate and required a feeding tube, but she also took milk from a bottle with a special bottle nipple. Christina noted that her daughter was a happy baby who enjoyed bath time and loved laughing. After her birth, Christina began living with her friend in a two-bedroom apartment in Fort Walton Beach. The mother shared she didn't plan on telling her daughter about the almost adoption. She also added, No, that kind of rejection from someone so shallow, she doesn't need to know about it. Local nonprofits like Okaloosa County Helping Hands provided the Fisher family with clothes and diapers. Also, Abigail's older sister Deborah set up a GoFundMe fundraiser for people to help out. A local photographer, Oksana Piri, contacted Christina and offered to take pictures of her adorable girl. The proud mother confessed, She saves my life every single day, just like my 18-year-old did. She doesn't know how much she means to me. She'll understand one day. Indeed. 
Fate's awe-inspiring conspiracy brought together this phenomenal mother-daughter duo and forged a forever connection between them. This story teaches us that every child is special and deserves to be loved and appreciated. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.